Hello and welcome to this episode of Fact Pile Feed, and I am Mega Rapper 18. And I am Slappy. Mega, what is today's topic? Well, we got a topic from Commander. Commander Shepard. Not Commander Shepard, you dumbass Commander. Holy shit, Commander Data. No, that Commander Data is our very own. Commander Adama? Let him finish, Dan. That is the Commander. We all know him as one of our... Holy shit, Snacks, it is Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander watches our show. I am speechless. Slappy, it is not. Hail, Cobra. Shut up, Slappy, and let him finish. It isn't Cobra Commander. It is our very own Commander Cross. Oh, I really wanted it to be Cobra Commander. Commander Cross asks this question, which is, does Methic's dissonance for how to deal with various problems qualify for nominees? Da fuck. I think he is talking about the Fact Pile Award and how characters get nominated for the Fact Pile Award. Oh well, what do you think about that, Mega? That is a tough one since there are a few BS reasons why people pick certain characters to win. I mean, anything in Warhammer 40k wins automatic because it is from the series. While it doesn't get the FP award for that, it is disconcerting that nearly every match with Warhammer 40k turns into a jerk fest, more so since there are no solid stats on their weapons. Mega, you are going into a 40k rant again. Sorry about that, I go into those every now and again. But to my point I was trying to make. More like failing to make a point la 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 How many times do I have to tell you not to do that? About 1,712,000 more times. Okay, to the topic at hand. Well out with it, damn it. Oh, don't you sass me, boy, or I will go deliverance on your ass, boy. Okay, okay, I will let you do your thing. All right, the issue in my view that people will flat out say the side of wins and therefore should get the fact pile award even though the debate doesn't even have 50 comments. Therefore, I suggest a new standard. What standard is that, Mega? I am getting to that, you green bastard. Blow me. The standard should be that in order for anyone to be nominated, they should be a tough debate that is over 200 comments minimum. Having the majority of a debate being people talking about the next match or possible matches does not count. I come from the days of Master Chief vs. Wolverine, Star Wars vs. Halo, and so on. So having more than 200 comments of serious debate is not that big of a task. Also, there must be a real debate none of these comments that are in short. This character wins because he is super cool and badass. I am sorry, but there isn't enough go into detail. Now I know why I've already said this, but I will say it again. If you want to talk about possible matches or anything that is not on the topic of the debate, take it to Fact Pile Topia. It is a great site and you will have fun there. There is also a role-playing section that you can bite your teeth into. Mega sorry to cut into your Topia sales pitch, and before you start talking about your game known as Cabal Zekner, please tell me who is that guy over there. Over where? Right there, that creepy white guy. Both the Skeeter and he wasn't always white. He was purple and green. What happened to him, Mega? Long story, he was sent to do a story, and something scared him enough to turn him white. Poor guy never recovered. Thanks for your input, Skeeter. Mega, can we end the episode now? Skeeter is creeping me the fuck out. Well, that is the end of Fact Pile Theater. If you have any ideas for topics, please list them in the comments. Good, now the show is over. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, wait for me, Slappy. See you later, Skeeter.